and one does not know who the murderer is. The law is that the elders of the, of the nearest city, the nearest town, must come out to where the body is. The elders, the rabbis. And they must state, proclaim, Yadeinu lo shatchu et adam azir. Our hands did not shed this blood. And the rabbis, the Talmud asked, does anyone then suspect them of it? What does this need to state our hands did not shed this blood? Of course not. No one suspects the elders of having shed that blood. And they explain that's not the point. That what they are saying is that we did everything possible to ensure that this would not happen. Can the government of Israel make that statement today? Can it stand up before God and man and say, Our hands did not shed this blood. Every Jew that is murdered today inside Israel is murdered by an Arab who remained in the country because Jews said it's not nice to throw them out. And every Jew has been murdered has two murderers. The Arab who used the knife or the gun or the rock and the Jew who allowed him to stay. We think of extremists. Let us understand who the real extremists are and the real murderers. The rabbis speak of two kinds of mercy. They speak of Rahmanut, which means mercy, which is good. And then they speak of Rahmanut Tipshim, the mercy of fools. Rahmanut Tipshim, what a magnificent phrase, the mercy of fools. How right the rabbis were when they said, one who has mercy on the cruel will someday be cruel to the merciful. We are to blame. There never was an Arab problem in Israel, only a Jewish problem. We are not normal. An intifada of 18, 18 months of an intifada, 18 months, a year and a half. The same Israeli army which in 1967, in six days, put down four Arab armies. 18 months it can't put down rabble women and children. Of course they can't put them down if they would allow them to. And I know the orders. I serve in the army. My son served in the army. Soldiers given a gun sent to Aza or sent to uh, Janine or Pankilia. And they were told, here's a gun and you can't use it. The orders are it's, it, it's like hell. <laughs> if they throw rocks at you, you have to first shoot in the in the air and shout in in Arabic, stand back. Assuming that you're still capable of the next phase. In the next phase, you're allowed to shoot at one demonstrator in one leg. Now, if you're still alive then, then you may shoot freely. Little wonder then that soldiers who are attacked say, if I don't shoot, I may be killed. If I do shoot, I may, like, like tens of other soldiers, be put on trial. So what they do is they back away. And one can imagine what a 10-year-old Arab child thinks as he watches the Jewish soldiers backing away from him. We are 